thanks for watching wise monkey please share and subscribe and check the description of this video subscribe to win a possible uh, grand prize in future <coughs> today we'll show how to make your own valve lash adjustment tool or valve tapid adjustment tool valve clearance adjustment tool or whatever way you say so 10 millimeter usually is a 10 millimeter deep socket that you need bigger wider is better this is i think uh, can't remember this is not half inch but this is not quarter either this is the uh, 3 8 i think or uh, something like that 10 millimeter is the one you need now one option is to weld piece of steel wire on the side to steel sticks weld it bend it a little bit and you can hold it one steel wire starts from here comes goes back u u fork weld it here if you don't have the mig weld then this is the other option which i started already make a hole and have a flat head long flat head that goes that can go through the hole and hold the screw adjusted adjusting screw while you uh, tighten it while you tighten this thing this screw is going to be held now to do that instead of cutting it all the way which actually makes it weaker the socket weaker i'm going to keep it like this and i'm going to grind more up here so, so that the flat head can be as straight as possible going in doesn't have to be at an angle the space is very tight there I have given few links for the actual adjusting tool that they sell on uh, Amazon uh, that's probably cost $30 you can always if you have a grinder handy then this is the tool so this goes in as you can see that this is uh, still not right this is i need to cut more so that the screwdriver can come almost straight so i'll come almost up to up to the uh, top half inch of the socket i'll grind this off Put it on a vise, use uh, safety precautions like uh, eyeglass and do it at your own risk. Done safely, it can be done. So this is it. I shaved it all the way up here. Now this is kind of at an angle, so the screwdriver can go in without the barrier without hitting this spot here the bump you just uh, taper it like uh, shave it off so that the it can go straight in as straight as possible as the as you tighten this socket you can hold the flat head the screw right there so this is it you can hold the hold the bolt the center uh, bolt while you tighten the nut the outside nut with the ratchet so all you need is a bit longer flat head the flathead sometimes the flathead like this one was not sharp enough so we just grind it off make it sharper because that uh, 
bolt is very narrow, very thin. So we grind it off, then makes it easier. Don't forget to check the how to adjust the valve lash video by Wise Monkey. Uh, there's a Honda Pilot valve lash uh, Wise Monkey. If you search that, it'll uh, show how to do that there for a Honda 3.5 liter engine. Uh, we'll try to put the one for uh, the Honda H22A valve lash adjustment as well. <clears throat> now the filler gauge also has to filler gauge uh, bend the tip of the filler gauge a little bit so that it can go nicely at an angle and a longer filler gauge also helps. So this is the homemade valve lash adjustment tool, 10 millimeter. And note one thing, this is hex the inside. This is not multi rib socket. This I find this easier, better to hold the ball down. Homemade valve lash adjustment tool. Saves uh, 30 or $50. Okay, hope this helps. Please share and subscribe and check the description of the video. Thank you.